Hey folks, Gusmal Designs here, and this is the aftermarket special for the Hobbycraft 132nd scale F105 Thunder Chief. Now if you have the trumpeter kit out there, this will work on your trumpeter kit, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's have a look and see what we got here. So we've got a big table full of goodies. So in no particular order, let's just start left to right, and we have the Edward interior set. So got a bit of a glare here, but I'll try and zoom in. So this is for the cockpit. I'm not too sure if there's other sets out there. I haven't really looked just because I was more interested in the cockpit set because I found that uh, the plane's detail on the outside was actually pretty good. So I really wasn't too interested in uh, anything else other than the cockpit. And uh, as you can see, the interior details are pretty nice. And there's some more right here. I haven't really looked at the instructions yet, so I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't think a lot of this is cockpit. This actually might be some of the exterior. To me, it looks like maybe the landing gear area. Maybe some of the nose, uh, like the radar area. I'm not too sure, but I'll show you anyway. So very nice. And then the master set there. That is for the uh, the nose piece there, right there. It's metal, which I like because uh, I remember my kit as a kid. I know it was only 148 scale and it was a kid. That was the first thing to snap off. So I wanted the metal piece, not because I'm thinking of breaking it, but because uh, I know that will be the first thing to break off uh, when I move it. And then the quick boost sets uh, for the refueling uh, probe. I thought that was a nice little set. Again, I buy these things, and if I don't use them, I'll uh, I'll sell pretty much whatever I don't use, and because uh, I just want them. And then if I, I you know if I use them, I use them. If I don't, I I don't. The the scoops from Quick Boost as well. Thought those were kind of cool, so I thought you know I'll grab them. You know I bought them, I bought these from BNA uh, models, so I thought you know what if I'm paying for for shipping anyway, I might as well just get whatever comes with the plane. And go from there. Uh, Duplicata Productions, uh, Dave there, du Duplicata, awesome stuff. Um, he does these uh, maps and uh, these little sets here, not just for, for Vietnam type stuff, but for everything. He's actually made me some Canadian stuff, which we'll get into when I show you my leopard uh, diorama. That'll be the next video coming up. But uh, these add uh, some realism to your models. Like the, these little postcards and pictures and comic books and stuff. So when I do the, the diorama with the Thunder Chief, you know, I'll have a, like a letter in the window or something. You know, it adds, uh, adds that personal touch. So if you're interested, go check out uh, Duplicata Productions here. I'll just uh, hover over there. I'll actually leave a link in the description too to his stuff. He has uh, st many different uh, things in different scales maps and stuff so like I'll fold it up and put it in a pilot pilot's hand but very cool so again this is uh, for the Vietnam obviously 135th scale so it's perfect metal landing gear this is uh, this is a must um, from what I've read on this model kit if you don't have the metal landing gear and you're planning on putting it on its wheels it's gonna break if you don't have the metal landing gear so that was a must as far as uh, I was told so I'm glad I got that now, this isn't really an aftermarket set, but um, you've seen this when I did the inbox review, but this aftermarket for me, because I got the Hobbycraft kit, and the decals that came with this kit are not nice. So for me, this is an aftermarket set, and anyone who has the Hobby kit, or sorry, the Hobbycraft kit, this is considered uh, an aftermarket set. So I did put this in this uh, video, even though this is a trumpeter uh, decal set. Now I got this on eBay, so uh, if you're lucky enough to get your hands on this set, then uh, definitely go for it. Now the reason why I bought this set, not it wasn't so much for like uh, you know these kind of decals. It was more so for like the stenciling that you do not get with the Hobbycraft kit. So just keep that in mind. And then again, this is more of the quick boost um, yeah, uh, just joysticks. I guess you can say it's not joysticks, but the name escapes me right now. But you, there it is, it's right in front of me, control levers. 
And then I bought that. Now I bought that um, after I bought the Edward sets. So I'm gonna have a look and see which one I like better. I haven't even opened that yet. So if I like this set better than the Edward, then I'll just, I'll bypass the Edward set. So that's another thing to consider too. So that's really kind of cool. So we'll have a look and see if that set's nicer. And this will drum, just drop into your, it says cockpit set for trumpeter, but the Hobbycraft kit is a trumpeter kit. So I'm not too concerned. So that'll just drop right in. Now underneath all of this, I'm just gonna remove all this stuff, is what I plan to display my model on. Now, it just come out of the roll, but as you can see, this whole thing is going to be a display for my airplane. It's a runway. As you can see, this is a tarmac sheet. This is the roll it came in, and I got it on uh, my display board, which I haven't painted or anything yet. And I don't want to take too much stuff off of here, just because it's kind of, it'll roll back up. But that's something to consider too. Once it's all, uh, like here's my hand, so it's this is gonna be a big display. Once uh, the plane's all built, I'm gonna have it sitting on the tarmac. I'll just have to glue it. Now this is um, paper, it's very thick. So what I'll do is I'll just spray some spray glue, not on the paper so much, but on the board, and then just carefully lay the paper down so it doesn't bubble up and things like that. And uh, there we go. Uh, it's like an instant display for, uh, for your airplane. Now it's, ar it's already got like it's, uh, you know, oil drips and things like that. So it's already kind of pre-weathered for you. You know, it's kind of a lazy man's way of doing it. But um, I just thought it's a kind of a cool way to, to display your model. You know, never done that before. I've never had to display a big airplane like this before. Um, I've done many different things for productions and such where I had to build my own displays, which is fine, but um, for my own kind of thing, I've never had to do it. And I just thought, you know what, let's just try something new. See what, see what else is out there. Try someone else's thing. Now, I don't know who done this. It just says, um, uh, there. So I thought, you know what, let's give it a shot. You know, let's help, uh, let's help some other creators out there. You know, it's not all about me out there, so I just, you know, let's get some other things on the go and let's have some fun with this. So there we go. Uh, that is uh, just a little quick video on the aftermarket parts that you can get for the F-105D. And uh, this is going to be a fun project too. I'm really having a lot of fun with all these different builds and, uh, and having a lot of fun uh, talking to you guys out there and uh, learning a lot uh, of uh, how you guys uh, build your models and um, you know your interests so this has been a lot of fun so thank you so much for all your support and uh, I look forward to your thoughts on uh, on this airplane and uh, what you'd like to see with this build so thanks so much for watching again please like share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video thank you guys bye